click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about drugs and the characteristic of an ideal drug and now in this topic we are going to talk about classification of drugs. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, it is very much important to understand that why the drugs are basically classified and it is very much necessary also. So the thing is, once we classify the drugs based on their physiological, that is use, or based on their pharmacological effect or based on the action on the molecular targets and this. So based on that, we are classifying those drugs and for that we have basically, basically five classifications and out of which basically we are talking about the first one, that is classification based on the pharmacological effects of the drugs. For example, these drugs are basically they are used for a normal actions. For example, suppose if I'm talking about that is pain. So to reduce the pain, we are using painkillers. And for suppose if there is a breathing problem, then we are using those like chemicals like or drugs like tranquilizers. So in that case, basically they are of this kind of drugs are basically used for the normal disease or for the normal action on the body. And as well as even they can act on the central nervous system. So therefore, this is nothing but the classification of drug based on the pharmacological effect of the drugs so talking about the next one that is classification based on the action of drugs on a particular biological process or a particular biochemical process so in this case the drugs are basically disease oriented and they are only affecting that is the central nervous system because most of the function that is in our body is because of the central nervous system and that's the reason that they can act on the central nervous system for example if we talk about tranquilizers or suppose if we talk about any narcotic drugs so therefore they are classified in this category so talking about the next one we have classification based on the chemical structure we understand that is there are multiple drugs and for which they have different functional group and they have different structure so that's the reason some chemicals they are made up of protein so some chemicals would have a structure of that is alcoholic OH in it some would have that is phenolic structure someone would have that is aldehyde group or ketone group so that's the reason based on the chemical structure those that is drugs are being classified so talking about the next one that is classification based on the molecular targets so whenever we intake drug so those drugs can attack enzyme they can attack a protein they can attack a carbohydrate and based on that they could have an effect on our body so in this case those drugs are basically known as drug targets and that's the reason that on which they are attacking or on which basically they are getting associated those are basically known as some molecular targets and this is how basically the drug attack those molecules that could be carbohydrate protein lipid or any enzyme so talking about the next one that is classification of drug by lay public so in this case this is not in fact very much clear it is the information based on the classification it is very much inadequate and that's the reason that for example some drugs like suppose if it is a cough syrup suppose if we are talking about any ointment so they come in the classification of that is classification of drug by lay public so therefore this were all the classification that is what i have discussed about the drug and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time until then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much